Hello everyone. We thought it would be useful to create a little demonstration to show you the share to classroom function, which is now in ThingLink. So to get going, firstly, I'm just going to head on over to thinglink.com and I'm already signed in. So you can see that this is my user interface where I have my thing links. I'm just going to show you really quickly that if I go to classroom.google.com, you can see that I've got two classrooms set up already. Here we go, one for the student voice group and one on animal cells. So I have here a thing link which I want to share with my student voice group. This is a poster that was created to show the values of the school and we're carrying out an exercise so that young people can embed their voices and explain what the values mean to them. So I want to share this in my student voice classroom. If I hit the share button, you can see it gives me options. I can embed the media. This gives me a great solution for embedding into our school website. It works beautifully with a Google site. I can share the link which is really useful for using as a hyperlink in a Google Doc or any other kind of document. I can also publish to social. This is where you'll find the share to classroom function. If I hit that button, a pop up will appear, which will show you my classrooms. And this is the same account I'm using for my Google Classroom that I'm using in ThingLink. I can select my classes. So I'll select my student voice class and here I can choose the action. This is the interface that you usually see within Google Classroom when you decide to create something in your stream. So I'm just going to make an announcement. When I click the go button, this then increases the pop up to show the functions that I want to do with my announcement. Here you can see that I can also share it across my classrooms, but I just want it in my student voice one. I have the same differentiation function, but I don't have any students in my demo classroom. So here I just have all students. Here I can add some text. So I'm just going to say, check this out. And here I can choose to schedule. I can choose to save this as a draft, which is really useful if I want to just pop this announcement into the classroom when I'm ready, or I can schedule it for a particular time, but I just want to post it. So there we have it. That's now post posting to my classroom. If I click on the view button, it will take me back to that particular classroom. And here we have my values image and my announcement and students can click on that and it will take them to the image which they can explore. So just a little demonstration to show you how easy it is to use the share to classroom function. As always, we'd love to hear from you. Please get in touch with us by going to our Facebook group. Just search for ThingLink Education or you can find us on Twitter at ThingLink or at ThingLink underscore edu. We look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.